The Ford Focus ST has been a hot hatch favourite of drives in recent years. But for 2015, it's been given an update. Well, the question is, has Ford messed with a winning formula? The new ST leads a revised Focus small car range that will hit Australia later this year. There are new looks and more technology, as well as changes under the skin to improve the way the ST drives. But it needs all the help it can get to compete against a growing field of hot hatches available today. On the outside, the bonnet has been redesigned for a more aggressive look, the headlights are slimmer, and there are new look fog lights. One of the biggest changes for this 2015 model is the interior. The old model was, had a really busy dash, lots of buttons and dials everywhere. The introduction of Sync 2 though has allowed Ford to clean up the center stack. Now, most of those controls are handled by the big touchscreen in the center here, which has phone, navigation, climate, and entertainment in four big easy to use things. It's really intuitive, and not only does it clean up the interior, it's actually easy to use and makes it a more enjoyable experience to drive the car and use these functions. One thing that hasn't changed, thankfully, is the seats, these Recaro bucket seats. Really supportive. Maybe not for everyone, if you're a bigger body type, they may be a bit tight, but if you fit them nicely, they are fantastic. You barely move in the corners, no matter how fast you go around them. Unfortunately, they are colour matched to the exterior of the car, in this case bright yellow, which won't be for everyone's taste, but they are fantastically supportive. Value remains a strong suit for the Focus ST, despite a $700 price increase to $38,990 plus on road costs. But that still undercuts the Volkswagen Golf GTI and the new Holden Astra VXR. Standard equipment includes navigation, Bluetooth, reversing camera and parking sensors. Customers can also add a $2,000 technology pack that adds modern safety items including active city stop, blind spot detection and lane departure warning. One thing unchanged for 2015 is the engine, but that's no bad thing because this 2 litre turbo is still packing 184 kilowatts of power and 360 newton metres of torque. Now while it may lack the ultimate drivability of something like say a Golf GTI, because it is trying to get a lot of power to the road through the front wheels, it is a cracker. Once you get it in the sweet spot, it is a beautiful engine, it makes a great noise and has plenty of pulling power. It's made it to the six-speed manual transmission, which is one of the better manuals on the market. It's got a good throw and it's nicely matched to the engine. Unfortunately though, it is still the only transmission available. Ford still aren't offering an automatic option, unlike some of its key rivals that do give you the option to have a self-shifter. That potentially rules the Focus ST out for a lot of buyers because a hot hatch is about having that day-to-day -day practicality as well as some fun on the weekends. But the Ford engineers haven't been sitting idle. One of the big changes for 2015 is the front suspension. It's been redesigned, includes new springs and new shocks to try and make this car even more engaging to drive. Thankfully, that hasn't impacted on the great strength of the old model, which was the steering, super responsive steering that reacts as soon as you turn the wheel. It really is the hot hatch benchmark of steering. But it doesn't make the Focus ST any easier to live with day to day, so it can't quite match the cars like the Golf GTI for that day to day livability that you want in a hot hatch. But get on a twisty road like this out in the countryside, and the Focus ST is in its element. It really is an engaging and fun hot hatch to drive. Ford certainly hasn't messed with a winning formula. The Focus ST remains one of the most fun and engaging hot hatches to drive, still offers good value, and now looks better inside and out.